What's happening, people? And once again, welcome back to youtube.com forward slash Cubcam TV for this another edition of Cub Reacts requested. Today, we're getting into a uh, very exciting tune from AV. This one came out earlier this month. It goes by the name Confession. Again, completely missed this one, but out to everyone suggesting that we do check it out. It's a massive favor when you guys do let me know about new ones that I may be missing. Um, so please do keep getting involved. As always, though, if you are new to the channel, please make sure you are hitting that subscribe button on the right-hand side of the page, turning notifications on, leaving a like, leaving a comment, all of that good stuff. As always, as this is a new artist we're reviewing on the channel, um, not new as in it's the first time they're making music, new as in it's the first time we've properly reviewed them, please do be aware this is a uh, kind of musical, technical breakdown, so we're going to be breaking down the production, the vocal performance, uh, the video itself, and the more sort of technical side of things. If that's not your cup of tea, feel free to go and watch the actual video. I'll leave a link to it in the uh, comment section down below in the description, sorry. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's jump right into this one. AV with Confession. This one's doing absolute bit. Drums are nice, really nice. I really like the organic feel to this one, man. It's got a really um, stripped back kind of feel when we're talking about the drums involved. Again, very kind of clicky, very heavily kind of percussive drums. Um, I'm loving the kind of minimal shaker feel we're getting through this one as well. The main melody across the introduction primarily coming to us from a very kind of uh, organic sounding acoustic guitar. Really nice. The video looks really well lit, though. It looks like we're going to have a lot of fun with this one. And we're getting almost kind of... Uh, Almost Fireboy DML kind of type of uh, vocal harmonies in the background. That's kind of what it sounds like to me so far. Um, almost Rema like as well in the way they sound. Really, really nice intro. Let's see where we go. Oh, my baby, I love is for you. Give me love in no good on you. You see your body carry something. It's a smooth vocal, man. I must go first. Very Those harmonies we're getting in the background sound swish, bro. This is sounding really, really nice so far. Um, again, the video looks like they're on some sort of private jet. Looks like they're having a good time by the looks of things. Um, and obviously, yeah, the instrumental is very, very stripped back. The thing that I'm liking, again, is the fact that AV is providing the majority of the kind of harmonic structure through vocals. We're getting two or three different layers that are all sitting on top of each other. The whole thing sounds very full, very wide, and very cleanly processed as well. This is sounding great, man. Again, I haven't really heard much AV obviously kind of exploded over the last year or so and I haven't really been paying much attention as I really should have but I can see why he's so popular off the back of this alone mm. that spacey vocal nice is crazy Would you fly with me International. Again, a lot of kind of tremolo going on in his vocal performance for this one. It's not all about just hitting flat notation. There's a lot of harmonic stuff going on, which is giving the tune a sense of atmosphere. A lot of kind of uh, floating vocals kind of moving around the background of the tune. But then on top of that as well, um, you've kind of got this uh, tremolo effect to his voice, almost sounding kind of like Eastern, um, like kind of Middle Eastern. That kind of, that kind of um, really... It's a really cool way of kind of uh, fluctuating your vocal tone. So you almost shift between a couple of different notes. Really, really cool thing to do. It's not easy to do, especially with an auto-tune to make it sound clean. But you can definitely hear that this one comes across very, very well. With me for flight, honey. Would you stay with me? The spaciness on the harmony sound great, man. You go there with me for life. Definitely, definitely. I'm getting Rema vibes off this without a shadow of a doubt, man. I'm definitely getting that understanding of space, that understanding of higher pitched vocals, how you can make something sound very atmospheric and very kind of choral with the use of those higher pitched vocals. I'm definitely getting that off the way this one's structured vocally. Again, the video looks super clean. I'm loving the backgrounds. I'm loving the way it's shot. Everything about it looks very, very cleanly done. Again, um, AV, clearly someone that I should have been keeping a closer eye on over the last year. Let's see where this one goes, though. Let's see how it develops after the first verse and chorus. I hope it continues down this uh, more explorative, uh, explorative, explorative, unusual journey. Mm. 
Girl, your body nice. Mm. My head to the slow like traffic. Mm. Again, switching things up in regards to the verses and stuff that are being done. This one sounds very different to the first one. A lot more skippy in its arrangement. A little bit less focused on the harmony. The harmony's still there, but it's a bit more in the kind of background, providing a general sense of harmony for the tune and atmospherics. Again, I love this shot. You've got the pink and the blue. It always looks really clean together. Um, I don't really know what's going to happen with Milk. We'll see. Um, but yeah, we'll see where we end up. Um, but yeah, this sounds good, man. It's good. Definitely uh, a catchy one. I can see the popular appeal as well. He's clearly a cool looking guy um, And the video looks very clean as well There's a lot to admire kind of aesthetically About the way the, the uh, video has been put together Okay mm. I really like the unpredictable nature of the rhythms he's bringing as well. He's not kind of sticking to one particular approach. He's constantly switching up the direction in which his vocal rhythms sit over the instrumental. With a tune like this, I feel it's quite easy to almost fall into a, a kind of repetitive pattern, use the same approach on both of the vo on all of the different verses. But the chorus again switches things up entirely. This has felt like it's constantly evolving. The instrumentation has remained moderately similar throughout, like it hasn't completely shifted. It's mainly the vocal shifting that's giving this one its differentiation, which is really really cool to see like in a direction again very very cool stuff again that little tremolo there when you're adding all these different elements into it, again, the thing that I've noticed about this um, is the fact that the uh, harmonies in the background are constantly growing. They're not at the start; they sounded like just one or two. Now it sounds like there's four or five vocals all sat next to each other. It gives it this really nice kind of chorus feel. Um, again, it's something you can emulate digitally, but this definitely sounds like it's been recorded to give it that kind of oomph, that really kind of otherworldly phase, which uh, does push a lot of the kind of background levels together. Again, the harmonic structure on this one's really nice. You've got room, room to do it because the instrumental itself is quite stripped back like there's not a thousand different things going on with the instrumental it's pretty much just bass line guitar line and uh minimal sounding drums the drums are very clicky as well um but yeah i mean he's utilizing the space that is there on the instrumental very well would you stay with me i said no no man you go there with me for life This, this section here, bro, using those vocals to give this sense of space. Again, it's something we've heard before, but not quite in this direction. I think this is a very cool kind of take on the sound, to be honest with you. There's still that energetic rhythm moving throughout the lower end of the tune. The kick drums are still pulsating. You've still got that sort of almost 4-4 sense of rhythm. But it's all the things that are going on in the upper end with the vocals, the way they're kind of drifting to the side. It almost sounds like we're listening to this inside a massive building. It definitely has that kind of big room warehouse kind of feel to it. Um, and it's been really really well processed it doesn't sound overbearing it doesn't kind of overlap what's happening on the instrumental the instrumental still has room to breathe but the vocals are the thing that really are driving the tune forward oh that's for the milk okay <laughs> Like, as far as I'm aware, I mean, as far as I'm aware, I'm presuming this isn't an advert for milk. <laughs> I mean, it could be, and I'm completely out of the loop. I'm assuming that's just something they've thrown in there for the aesthetic, possibly. Who knows? Um, but something I've just clocked over this kind of outro, I really like that kind of digital kind of uh, 808 stab, that kind of dong, 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 very moogy, very electronic, very, uh, very square in the way it sounds. Just adding a little bit of different texture towards the outro as well. I love it when people add elements just for the outro. It gives you a reason to listen all the way through. Um, and again, on a production level, that's a very good example of that. How is this one doing view-wise? So it's on nearly a mil um, and it premiered last month. So again, this is doing really well. For less than a month, it's on nearly a mil. Um, AV's only on around 55k subs. That's a really good return rate, man. This is, I mean, I can understand why. It's catchy as anything. <laughs> 
There we go. The end. Fabulous stuff. Very clean video. I love the direction on the video. I love the use of color in the background and the kind of uh, the blue up against the pink is always too cut. It's, it's very kind of a uh, pa- is, is it palette colors? I can't remember what the name of the phrase is, but they, they look very, very nice next to each other. The tune itself sounds great. I think the highlight is very much the use of those vocal harmonies in the higher ends, giving it this sense of depth. Very nice stripped back instrumental as well, but overall definitely a fan of this one. As always, if you did enjoy this technical analysis and musical breakdown, please make sure you are hitting that subscribe button on the right hand side of the page turning notifications on leaving a like leaving a comment all that good stuff and please remember that if you have any suggestions for tracks you'd like us to request to or react to or give the general music breakdowns get your requests in via the comment section down below that's it from me though enjoy the rest of your wednesday and we shall see you all next time peace make sure you subscribe to the youtube channel right now corp cam tv stay locked